mostly it's it's a lot to remember about the body, but it's something that we use every day and it's easy to like we remember that it's apply to every day. Um, uh, math, which I have a harder time. Physiology is another one that we study. We study pretty much anatomy and physiology close to the same time. Uh, it's it's one of the harder things I think to learn because there's it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to try to remember and everything just because anatomy uh, they tell us is the study of structure and the physiology is the study of function. And I think it's much harder to try to learn how the body works instead of what's inside it. Uh, we also go through medical math. It's pretty much just it's everything basic so far. We haven't, got, we haven't delved very deeply into it. But it's your basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Um, the hardest part about probably medical math that we've gone into so far is conversions going from drops to CC, stuff like that. Uh, right now, we're going through nutrition in, like, right now in class, actually. Uh, it's very it's interesting pretty much to see I didn't I didn't realize how much your eating habits and stuff like that just with nutrition affects the body. Uh, it's very uh, the whole reason I pretty much would like to be something in the healthcare is <clears throat> mostly my surroundings. My mom is a uh, PT at Thurston Woods and Service. My grandmother is a nurse in Elkhart stuff like that, so I've grown up a lot around the healthcare setting, and uh, especially since I was little, I was born almost deaf, so I've been in and out of the hospital since I've been really young. Uh, I always had a, I always felt uncomfortable beginning, beginning out there, and there was also, there was one doctor, Dr. Starrett, who always made me uh, feel better, he was, and I would like to be that for some days. Uh, some things that have helped me that I've done to for the community is with, uh, for uh, sorry for fo for football we have to go out and do community service time and get so many hours in it. And we've done raking lawns, we've done cleanups just around the city, stuff like that. I've also done a couple hours of volunteer where my mom works just to probably try to get a better understanding of what I would like to go into for uh, these are pretty much characteristics that I find are important in the healthcare setting, and I think that I can thoroughly present these in a professional way in healthcare setting. And that's it for that. Uh, other, if you take a look at my resume here, <clears throat> my core professional strengths, I've, I've attained these throughout last year going into it, and studying in my doc and stuff, and also throughout just my family. I've done work for my family over the years when I was younger. Uh, right right now, I'm employed at Brewster's, where I'm a host, a dishwasher, and soon to be a waiter. And that has given me more training with other people, uh, like hosting, seating people, talking to them, making sure everything's good. Also trying to juggle a lot of things at one time. Uh, Things that have proven my leadership pretty much is I was captain of football track and wrestling these last two years. Uh, we were very successful in all of those. And I, throughout those, it took a while to understand exactly what a leader does. And one of the hardest part about being a leader is not just trying to tell everybody what to do, but also listening. I find the hardest part. And that's it. If I, if I would have a question for you guys, it would be, when you go to work every day, do you feel that you thoroughly help people? Like, does it give you satisfaction? I don't know, I don't know exactly how to put it, but uh, yeah. Do you feel like you help, help people when you go to work every day? You need that in order to really enjoy going to work. That. Um, there's <coughs> working in the medical field, depending on the, the avenue of it, and obviously I'm a nurse and probably, but it's good. It, it, it is 
it's it's a career, it can be a career in the industry combined because you have the sense that you're helping people make a difference. Um, I work well at ERICU. Okay. And people come in, you know, they present to us with their life upside down, you know, whether it's car accident or whatever. Um, and it, to help them kind of work through that process to some semblance of normalcy uh, it is very gratifying it, it, just knowing like you said just knowing that you're making a difference um, as a career absolutely every day I know that I'm making a difference at that job at that particular day can be a very sometimes very challenging yeah. to see that but um, keeping keeping it in the perspective um, is, is why It's not that difficult to get up and go to work because yeah. I know the impact that it can have. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. Um, any questions for me? Would you say you're, you're am I tech? Yes, sir. That's what, I'm, that's what I've been looking to do so far. If not, I was also looking into nursing. And uh, I recently, my med teacher told me something about a traveling nurse where you get to go out and
exactly what I like and what it is. Yeah. And Alex, I heard you say something that was really interesting to me, and I want you to elaborate on it a little bit more. You said that you learned in your leadership roles the value of listening. Yes, ma'am. Tell me more about what you've learned with your listening skills. What I've learned more with my listening skills, it was, <clears throat> it was harder at first because I didn't know exactly how to get either people motivated or get them to be there on time or do that. Uh, listening to where they're coming from and trying to understand where they're coming from, just putting myself in their shoes, helped me a lot to figure out how to help them best and get them there and stuff like that. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. I've done the travel nursing. I've done the okay. nursing, which agency is kind of like a substitute teacher for some class to class. Okay. Um, it, it, it isn't. And, and I've also floated from floor to floor. I've done that a lot within the hospitals. Um, it, there, there's a, a different tweak, a different um, twist to doing that. Okay. Um, you have to have a lot of personal confidence. Okay. Um, as a nurse, you know, every time I go into the patient bedside, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Introduce myself, do the assessment. But every facility has a different paperwork. Every facility has a different way to do the same procedure. Um, but with with my portion of it, I have to be confident with what I'm doing. Yeah. Because once I step out of the, the patient room, it's like, all right, so where's the bathroom? <laughs> where, where, where's the computer that I need to be doing this? Oh, what do you call this particular medicine? Because different companies produce the same medicine with a little bit different names. Yeah. Yeah. All of that can be different from one place to another. Okay. But the patient's the patient. Yeah. yeah. Heart problems are heart problems. You have to be confident with what you're doing. Um, and I'm sure that they do have traveling, because uh, physicians can go from place to place. Mm -hmm. um, colloquium, I think is what it's called, as a, as a contract. Oh. And so I'm sure that I, I know that yeah. MRI techs can do the same thing. Oh. Um, and, and like Jason was saying, that you know, I, I know there are some doctor's offices that have an MRI machine come in every Tuesday or Thursday. Um, if there are some small hospitals that contract, they have an MRI machine there three days a week or whatever. And we schedule people that way. So if, if that's what you're doing here, you could be the hospital part of the week and the office part of the week. Or you could be at a resource where three hospitals send patients to and you're just doing the testing there. there there's a lot of different flexibility. Um, but yet you're still doing the same thing. It, it's anything in a medical career, you can go anywhere you want in the country. Because it's it's needed everywhere in the country, in the world. So. The, the main reason I'm having a hard time deciding between is because I want that personal contact, but I also I like I kind of like working with technology technology too. So I'm just trying to find something. And, and nursing is such a flexible field. Um, I could work for a doctor's office. I could work for an insurance company doing physicals. I could work. I work at every floor and have worked most every floor at Elkhart and Memorial oh. because I've been floored in both places. Mm -hmm. um, and some places are more technical than others. ICU with, with their devices and machines is much more technical than one of the floors. Um, you could get into a procedure lab, um, a heart cath lab where you're doing, um, they, they have these wonderful things that they put in and kind of irritate the different areas of the heart to okay. see where it causes their, um, their rhythm issues oh. so that they can then fix it. Um, so there's some very technical areas of nursing that you could get you know, involved in if that is what you want. What about, um, the, what about physical therapy? Or that, that's the tech stuff too. Mm -hmm. and Jillian, have you looked at that at all? Uh, a little bit, just because my mom's a physical okay. therapist. Yeah, it's, PT yeah. it's not as technology, but it's no, more... But, yeah, but he likes to get the medicine and yeah. Yeah. the physiology. Yeah. path to where you want to be. 